Okay, so in the last several videos, we created this grid and we've added nine sections. Now, previously, we've only been adding a start line. We have not actually added a stop line. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're actually going to go ahead and learn how to add a start line and specify a stop line. So what we're going to do is create a section 10 down here and it's going to span all three columns and we're actually going to go ahead and span two more rows. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll flip to the code. And of course we need to add our section right here. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll call this section 10. And then let's flip over to our style sheet. And then let's scroll all the way down and let's go ahead and just copy and paste this code right here. And we'll call this section 10. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the same property, which is grid column. And we're gonna go ahead and start this off at column line one, which is right here. And then what we do to add a stop line is put a slash and then we specify the stop line. And in this case, we wanna stop it at line four. So let's go ahead and put a four here. So the way this will work now is this section will span all the way from column line one and work its way over to column line four. And we're actually gonna put it down here. So we're not actually adding a new column here, but we do need to add new rows because we wanna put it down here. And of course we need to add the rows up here. So let's go ahead and just add those rows really quickly here. So we need a fourth row and we're going to create a fifth row. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back down here. And so what we're going to do now is start this off at row line four and then we're going to end it at row line six. And of course, I don't have this in this diagram here, but you can kind of see how it would work. We're going to start at row line four and row line five would be roughly here and then row line six would be roughly here. So we're going to go all the way down to that row line six. And let's go ahead and make the color green. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And then let's go over to our index.html and save this. And let's go ahead and run this in the browser and let's see what we get. And take a look at that. There's our section 10. Look at that, it worked perfectly. It takes up two rows and it spans across our three columns. So there you go. Now that you know how to add a starting line and a stop line, you can go ahead and create different sections now and put them wherever you want. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.